Today is episode 2 of how to do Mavic 2 features on any drone. Yesterday I showed you how to do the dolly zoom effect, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do hyperlapses. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Litchi app. It is around $30, but you can get it for less. I didn't tell you that. So once you're in the Litchi app and you have your drone connected, you're going to want to click in the top left-hand corner where it says FPV and just switch that over to Waypoint. Once you're in Waypoint, you can see there is a map of well, wherever you are. So I'm going to make the drone follow a Waypoint and I'm going to make it do it really slow and then we're going to speed it up. And there we go, a hyperlapse. So what I'm going to choose is I'm going to have it start over this baseball diamond and then I'm going to have it go all the way over to above this little court here. So it's about an 86 meter distance. Now what I'm going to do is click on the little settings on the left here. I'm going to bring the cruising speed down to about 0.4 kilometers per hour. And the heading, we're going to do user control, so I can control which way it's facing. Now once we're done, we can pretty much just choose them. So I'm going to make it start at 30 meters, and I'm going to make it go up to, let's say it rises while it does that, so let's just double it. Let's go up to around 60 meters. So once we have done that, we can pretty much press record. And then we can just press the little play button and the drone is going to take off and start on the waypoint. So let's go. Okay. Mission starting. So it is taking off now. So as you can see, the cruising speed is way down. So I'm actually going to turn that up for now. Okay, maybe a little too much. So I'm going to let it get over to where it starts. And then I'm going to bring the cruising speed down and set up the camera angle that I want. So there it goes, heading over to the first waypoint. So as we can see, just about over there now. And now I'm going to bring the cruising speed back down to 0.4 kilometers per hour. I'm going to close the mission settings, bring up the picture, and we're just let's just shoot it over something like that. Everything looks good here, so I'm just going to let it do its thing, and then I will meet you once the video is done, and I'll show you how to edit this into a hyperlapse. I just want to mention two things, and those are there are other ways of doing the hyperlapse other than using the Litchi app. For example, if you don't have the money to invest in the Litchi app, or you just don't want to use the Litchi app, you want to stick with the DJI Go 4 app, you can do that. And what I would recommend is putting it into tripod mode, and then just going really, really slow. Or if you have a Mavic Pro, you can use the actual flight paths and just make it go really slow, face the drone whichever way you want, and do what is in the Litchi app. I just use the Litchi app as the Mavic Air does not have automated flight paths. Secondly, there will be more videos like this coming up very soon, so if you do like these, please subscribe, like, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have a great day, and I will see you in my next video.